Dealing with a narcissist is like getting into a spaceship and flying out into outer space and landing into some kind of alternate reality. <laughs> landing in an alternate reality and trying to make sense of what the hell you just landed in and not really knowing what's going on. <laughs> um, yeah, it's um, especially when they gas when they start gaslighting you. That that's definitely. I mean, it's kind of like akin to being around some kind of crackhead when they're in some kind of cracked out psychosis. Um, because this actually happened to me one time. <laughs> don't ask, don't ask. I've been in some pretty weird situations, <laughs> but anyway. This person went into this full-fledged, cracked-out monologue of insanity, which was all like total pathological lies I found out later from someone else. And it kind of reminded me of being around a narcissist. And we know narcissists are essentially like crackheads. They, 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 they need supply. That's their crack. And they literally... Um, you know, will fall to pieces if they don't get their narcissistic supply. That's why they spend every waking hour 24-7 seeking it out and looking for new supply. They need to have a toy to play with, and that, that would be a human being. So they need some human to toy with to make themselves feel, feel better because their self-esteem is so low. And they have such a poor opinion of themselves that they feel if they can then control and manipulate others, it somehow, um, you know, makes their stock go up or whatever, or at least makes them content for the time being um, until the mass drops and the victim figures it out and they dip out. Um, then they have to look for a new toy, which is a new human being that they're going to victimize, abuse, and toy with. So basically, um, narcissists are masters of perception. They, they have to control the narrative, and we're seeing this on a large scale right now with this whole um, coronavirus, COVID um, farce, this just total nonsense. Uh, that's going on in the media, which is all, it's, we're all being gaslit on a day to day basis from the mainstream media. I don't watch it because I don't want any form of mind control. But essentially, everything is a form of, any kind of screen is a form of mind control. Any newspaper is a form of mind control. Your cell phone is mind controlling you. Your computer is mind controlling you. The TV is mind controlling you. Magazines mind control you. Religion mind controls you. Um, books mind control you. Any kind of periodical or magazine or anything um, is mind controlling you because there's all kind of subtle advertising and, and you don't know what's going on in between, like in the TV, what, in, during the commercials, there's all kind of satanic messaging interjected into there. So no matter what you do, no matter which way you slice it, you're being mind controlled. So basically, um, uh, and even the cell phones and the, the computers they, and the, the TVs too, <clears throat> excuse me, they emit a, uh, a, uh, specific frequency of blue light which actually uh, can alter your brain waves so if you think it's not mind control uh, it is you're being mind controlled especially with these cell phones they they have some really specific blue light frequency emanating from them phones and it alter it can alter your brain waves okay they can control your thinking so um, basically, what I'm trying to say is that narcissists do something completely similar. They're mind contro controlling you as well. They're controlling your reality, your perceptions. Um, narcissists will go out and about. They'll plant seeds in different people's minds. 
so that one person has an opinion of the other, then maybe they'll say the complete opposite to the other person, so that person will think one thing of that person. They can pit those two people against each other, thus controlling the entire narrative. Um, they, they have to pull the strings. They're, they're absolute control freaks. They have to be in control of everything. They cannot lose control, otherwise they'll go off the deep end. They have to be the puppeteer controlling the strings. So everyone on the chessboard that the, the narcopath is dealing with is just a pawn in their game to be manipulated and used for some purpose, more than likely to appease the narcissist, boost up the, the narcissist's low self-esteem, and make the narcissist feel better about themselves. Um, the narcissist does not care you know, that you're being abused, what kind of damage is going to take place if someone commits suicide in the process. They don't care as long as their needs are being met because no one else exists to the narcissist. The narcissist might ask you a few questions about yourself here and there, but they only throw out bait. You need to understand this. They only throw out bait because they have an end goal. Everything they say has a reason, okay? They might say something um, one week because they want to trip you up two weeks from then, and they planted the seed, you know, a couple weeks earlier in your mind, so then they can then toy with you a couple weeks later and be like, oh, yeah, um, remember? Um, oh, yeah, when well, we talked about that, and I said that, and oh, no, you said that, and this and that, and then they'll, they'll change the script and, you know, make shit up and who, who knows what they're going to do just to, like, they want to see you squirm. Remember, they want to see you squirm. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if they can trip you up, plant some seeds, get you all confused and, um, you know, discombobulated, they like that. That's what they want to see. That's supply for them. You understand? So... Uh, any anything that they can use to confuse you, control the narrative, um, and control your perceptions, that's what they're going to do. They have to infiltrate your mind. They're infiltrating your mind. And that's why I said it's like going to outer space. Because you're literally not in reality. You're in a new reality when you get into the same, you know, vicinity of the narcissist. So narcissists are masters of perception, and you need to get out of their web. Once you're out of their web, they cannot control your perceptions or your mind.